If you're planning on moving to the Florence area, this video is going to provide you with a very high level view of some of the features of Florence and what the city has to offer. Now, if you'd like to drill down further and get into more specific detail on any particular topic, you can contact me down in the description of this video. I'd be glad to talk with you about any subject that you have questions about. Hey everyone, my name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina with ERA, and I do want to provide you today with a general overview of the county of Florence, the city of Florence, and also point out some of the features and give you some updates of some of the things that are going on in 2024. So with no further ado, let's jump right into the meat of the video and let's start by talking about size and population. The city of Florence has a population of about 40,000 people. The county is about 140,000 people. The county is 805 square miles, roughly making it the 10th largest county in the state of South Carolina. The city is only about 24 square miles. So you can travel from end to end pretty quickly, making any commute pretty simple if you're living in the city or really even in the county for that matter. There are a few places around five o'clock, particularly or eight o'clock school time in the morning where the traffic can bottleneck, but it's certainly nothing like the interstate traffic in some of the larger cities where you have to commute to and from work. Now Florence also does offer some strategic advantage as far as its placement goes. Florence, South Carolina is situated right on I-95, essentially at the midway point between New York and Miami, Florida. There are a handful of I-95 exits that run adjacent to the county, each one offering different elements of value in terms of business and housing. And Florence is also the start point or end point, I guess, depending on how you look at it, of I-20. And that I-20 start point and I-95 do have a junction right there as you come into Florence in the West Florence area. So this can be really beneficial in terms of taking family trips, going on business trips, any, any type of travel you may need to do because you have immediate access right up to the East Coast corridor going up and down the East Coast on I-95 and I-20 can take you out West and it leads you right out to 77, starts to branch off from there. So it's pretty easy to hop on the interstate and go really anywhere in the country you may need to go. So another good thing about Florence, South Carolina is the surrounding cities. So in Florence, you're only about 80 miles from the coast in Myrtle Beach. So it's very easy to take a day trip down to the beach and come back home that evening in time for dinner. Likewise, we're right in the middle basically. So you're equally 80 miles from the capital in Columbia, South Carolina. So it's very easy to take a day trip up to Columbia if you want to go to a Gamecock sporting event or go to dine at Halls, or if you want to take the kids to the zoo. It's really easy to get up that morning, travel up there, and then be back home again in time for dinner. But also about 90 miles to the northwest is Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you want to go up to Charlotte, likewise to dine, to shop, or to go to a Panthers game, a Charlotte Hornets game, you could also make that a day trip and you could equally travel down south and be in Charleston, which is only 100 miles away for the same purposes. There's plenty of good dining down in Charleston, activities, historic sites, etc. So it's really convenient to have these four cities in all four directions and they're relatively close by, about an hour to an hour and a half drive. So you could easily take the family and get into any kind of activity that you want to get into on a day trip. Now, as far as development, Florence is a developing and growing area. There's a $65 million project that is underway that is scheduled to finish around 2025 in the downtown area of Florence. Likewise, there's a $4 million project that's in progress that is also in the downtown area of Florence. There's also a $1.6 plus billion dollar investment that's going on that's gonna provide a lot of jobs as they manufacture batteries for electric cars that are being built in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And there are roughly 15 new housing developments that are being constructed in 2024 currently. So there's a lot of commercial and residential development and investment going on in the area. And those were just to name a few. Now, if you're looking to buy or build in Florence and you're wondering what area should you be considering, here's some general insight. If your focus is more contemporary suburban living and you're looking more at school zones, then you're gonna to wanna to look in the West Florence area. If you're looking for something more rural with land and space, then you may wanna look in the South Florence area. There's a lot of opportunities for rural development in the South Florence area. And as far as affordability goes, $300,000 to $420,000 could easily secure you a 2,500 to 3,000 square foot home in one of those more desirable areas in the West Florence suburban area, making Florence, South Carolina, one of the most affordable places in the country to buy. So again, this was intended to be a very brief, high level overview of what Florence has to offer and some of the updates of what's going on in Florence in 2024. If you'd like to know further details about anything Florence related, South Carolina related, or real estate related, there's contact information down in the description of this video. And I'd love to talk with you today to work with you to reach your real estate goals. So if you found this content useful and valuable, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified 
notified of future content whenever we release it. And I needed to mention that I did put links to the major websites relative to Florence down in the description. So you can click on any one of those three websites and find a lot of information about our city and the surrounding areas. In the meantime, take care and we'll see y'all soon.